And the one thing as well, Craig, that I would try to eradicate totally. Sometimes defenders think, oh, well, I'm going to try it because I need to I need to get punished a couple of times before I completely change my mindset. I played the likes of Tony Adams, Rob Martin, Keon, Johan Mayalbi. They never took risks. Mm. Top defenders don't take risks. And I still see one or two instances with the Celtic defence. I know the other night they were, they, it, was, it was quite easy against Jablonets. But I'm still seeing Starfelt making silly tackles in the box, going to ground. And I'm still seeing defenders trying to play it across the back line. You don't do that. Get it forward. You know, keep keep your keep the goal out of your own net. Play in the opposition half. But I think that will come in time. You think that's because it's been too easy, John? Possibly. And you know, possibly, it's like mentally, Craig, yeah. you start to switch off and you start to be a little bit lax and you yeah. start to play a little risk when you don't really yeah, need to. But, but you're right, it's in that transformation. Yes. From a switching off from that. You got defend, defend properly. Keep clean sheets. What are we you thinking know. about Carl Starfeld so far? I mean, he got off to a shocker of a start, didn't he? At, at I think Tynecastle. the jury's still out. I think we have to say the jury's still out. You know, when you look at Christopher Iyer and Christopher Julian, you know, they had deficiencies, but they were a big presence. You looked at that team and one of them was playing you full. There was a big imposing centre-half. He may not have been tackling, what, but physically, but I, I don't think Starfelt is that. And then he gave away the penalty on Sunday, just missed time and things. You know, it, it, it's as if he needs a more imposing, more experienced one with him. And Stephen Wells probably needs the same. Yeah. So you're putting the two of them together and hoping it works. So I, 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 again, I think we'll get a better test tomorrow night of what he's good at and what he's not and what he still has to work on because I expect to be up against better players and, and AZ will have more possession than what Dundee and Yablonets and Hearts have had. It's, it's what you're getting for your money, isn't it? You know, he costs you just over £4 million. Comes from Ruben Kazan. He's 26. Swedish international. Yeah. And on paper, on reputation, you're getting a good player. But when you come to Celtic, um, keeping clean sheets is imperative. Not making mistakes. You've got to eradicate them mistakes. And it's still very early, Rob. It's mm. still very, very... What's he played? Three or four games maximum? Yeah, yeah he's been pitched so, into it. Yeah, he's been pitched into it. And he's gone in with a couple of different centre-halves. He's played with Neo Beton. He's gone in with Stephen Welsh. So it's, it's all about settling down. He's probably haven't found a house yet. He's probably still in a hotel. Mm. You know, so all these things you have to you have to put into perspective when a player who's been playing in Russia comes across mm. and all of a sudden signs a long-term deal at Celtic, you don't have a lot of time to settle in. And, you know, the knives are out very early. Yeah. But I just think, with all due respect, you've got to give some players a bit more time to get it right. Tell Alexa to launch Go Radio or listen on the Go Radio app.